One June morning, as Michael patrolled the Kingwood Township Highway, his attention was drawn to a white BMW on the opposite lane. Despite the driver seemingly adhering to traffic laws, something about the vehicle prompted Michael to signal for it to pull over. What could have prompted him to stop a seemingly law-abiding driver? Although the car's driver appeared to be obeying traffic regulations, the vehicle's tinted windows caught Michael's attention. While tinted windows are commonplace and often used for sun protection, the level of tint on this particular car exceeded legal limits. Michael's decision to stop the car indicated that the tinting issue was more than a minor infraction. Typically, troopers don't pull over vehicles solely for tinted windows, but the excessive tint on this car compromised visibility, posing a safety hazard. Michael, acting in accordance with his duty, signaled for the driver to stop, recognizing the potential dangers associated with overly tinted windows. Approaching the vehicle with his characteristic warm, Michael engaged the driver in conversation, unaware that this encounter would lead to a life-changing revelation. Despite the driver's initial cooperation, Michael had no inkling of the extraordinary turn of events that awaited him. The driver of the car found himself in an awkward situation, realizing he hadn't committed any traffic violations, but had unknowingly violated tinting regulations. His awareness of tinting limits stemmed from his own 30-year career as a police officer before retiring. He appreciated his job, much like Michael, and knew how to handle such situations professionally. While the tinting issue was unintentional, the driver understood the importance of resolving it promptly. He exchanged contact information with Michael, intending to rectify the problem swiftly. However, their conversation took an unexpected turn when they discovered they shared a common professional background. As they discussed their respective careers, Michael was taken aback when the driver, Matthew Bailey, revealed he had served in Piscataway, the town of Michael's birth, and where his mother still lived. This revelation sparked curiosity and speculation in Michael's mind, had their paths crossed before, perhaps during Michael's childhood. Their conversation delved into shared experiences and the peculiarities of patrolling Piscataway. Matthew's mention of the city's name struck a chord with Michael, igniting a sense of familiarity and prompting him to inquire about Matthew's age. Despite the potential awkwardness, Michael's intuition drove him to seek answers, sensing a deeper connection between them. As Matthew disclosed his age, Michael's suspicions grew, fueling a quest to uncover the truth behind their potential connection. Though uncertain of the significance of his doubts, Michael couldn't shake the feeling that their encounter held deeper implications than mere chance. When Michael inquired about Matthew's age, Matthew reciprocated the question, leading to a startling revelation. Michael revealed he was born in 1991 in Piscataway, prompting a moment of numbness in Matthew's mind. Could there truly be a connection between them and the city of Piscataway? Matthew's curiosity heightened as Michael shared details of his childhood, captivating Matthew's full attention. Michael's mention of his birth date, October 5, 1991, left Matthew stunned. He cautiously asked which street Michael was born on, sensing a connection forming between their pasts. As they exchanged more details, memories of a particular event began to resurface for both men. Pieces of the puzzle started to align as they discussed the incident, recalling obscure yet impactful moments from their pasts. Despite encountering numerous adventures during his service, Matthew couldn't shake the feeling that this encounter was something extraordinary. Their growing certainty of a past meeting compelled Matthew to seek confirmation, unwilling to let his theories remain mere speculation. Michael's revelation that he grew up on Poe Place further solidified their connection. The mention of the street triggered a flood of memories for Matthew, leading to a pivotal realization. Poe Place held significant memories for Matthew, particularly an emergency call he received 26 years ago. It was a night like any other until the unexpected emergency call changed everything. A woman in labor at an unexpected time sent shockwaves through the small town, presenting Matthew with a unique and unforgettable challenge. Labor pains are a natural part of childbirth, typically occurring in the final weeks of pregnancy. However, this woman's situation was different, with symptoms that deviated from the norm, causing concern and anxiety. Despite having experienced childbirth before, she found herself facing unexpected and unsettling symptoms, adding to the urgency of the situation. Despite having experienced childbirth before with her elder son, Karen distinctly recalled herself remaining calm in similar situations. However, this time, the intensity of the pain made her life incredibly challenging. She found herself unable to work or even walk short distances as the contractions rapidly intensified. Determined not to risk giving birth on the roadside, Karen decided it was time to head to the hospital. 
Karen, who was Michael's mother, wasn't one to panic unnecessarily. So when she began experiencing heightened pain, she contacted her husband while waiting for assistance. Sensing that the baby was on the way, Karen and her husband prepared for the impending arrival, even dialing 911 along with calling their doctor. While it may seem unusual, police officers receive training to assist in childbirth emergencies. Upon receiving the call for help, a quick response assured Karen that an officer would be arriving soon. The officer assigned to the task was none other than Matthew, who promptly left his duties and rushed to Karen's aid on his motorbike. At the time of Karen's sudden pain, her husband was not home, leaving her with no choice but to seek help. With her due date approaching, Karen had ventured out with her elder son, Tarek, for groceries. However, halfway through her shopping trip, the intensity of the pain signaled that the baby's arrival was imminent. Struggling to walk due to the intense pain, Karen managed to make her way home, with Tarek growing increasingly anxious by her side. Once home, her husband assisted her inside, having already alerted both their doctor and the police in case of an emergency. Aware of the potential risks of not making it to the hospital in time, they sought the assistance of a police officer as a precautionary measure. Karen and Bobby breathed a sigh of relief as the officer arrived at their doorstep. With Karen in severe pain and the imminent arrival of their baby, the officer's presence boosted their spirits. Time was of the essence, and with no opportunity to make it to the hospital, they relied on the officer's assistance. Matthew remained calm, drawing on his training for such emergencies, although he wasn't a specialist. Despite the risks involved, he took on the enormous task of aiding in the delivery. Every moment was critical, and any lapse in attention could have dire consequences. Yet Matthew was determined to handle the situation. With Karen on the bed in agonizing pain, her husband and son grew increasingly anxious as Matthew tried to reassure them. Bobby rushed around gathering supplies, his worry evident. Then the moment arrived as the baby prepared to enter the world. As the baby cried out, signaling its arrival, relief washed over everyone in the room. Matthew carefully placed the newborn into Karen's arms, ensuring the umbilical cord was safely removed. Now, 26 years later, that baby stood before him as a young man. Michael was overwhelmed with emotion upon realizing the significance of the man before him. Despite the passage of time, the memory of his birth remained vivid. Reluctantly, Michael acknowledged the need to return to his duties, but the encounter left a lasting impact on him, inspiring him to approach his work with renewed passion. Though hesitant to part ways, Michael harbored a desire to reconnect with the man who had played such a crucial role in his life. Armed with Matthew's address, he resolved to seek out his savior once again. With both men understanding the importance of duty and responsibility, they hoped for the opportunity to meet again, united by a bond forged in the most unexpected of circumstances. Despite the overwhelming evidence pointing towards Michael being the same child he had delivered years ago, Matthew remained uncertain until the very end. He sifted through his memories, trying to recall every detail of that pivotal event. His certainty grew as he realized that only he knew about the birth, and the pieces of the puzzle fit together perfectly. The truth they had uncovered was difficult for both men to comprehend. They marveled at the serendipity of their reunion, realizing they now lived in different cities, reflecting on what could have been had Michael not noticed the tint on the BM belly. They were grateful for the chance encounter that led to this revelation. Returning home, they shared the memorable day with their wives, who were surprised to learn that they hadn't exchanged numbers. Determined to reconnect, Michael left a note on Matthew's doorstep, sparking joy in the retired officer when he discovered it. Contacting each other, they planned another meeting, bringing joy not only to themselves, but also to Michael's mother, who had always wanted to thank the officer properly. Learning of Matthew's retirement and contented life, she was grateful for the opportunity to express her gratitude once more.